Must have liked this before. Very caramel and spice side. Really just posted on Instagram just now. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. In this vlog, we are finalizing my fall collection of 2023 and I'm so excited. It's actually still August right now, so it feels slightly weird to be working on the fall collection, but I've been getting into the cozy vibes lately. Somehow I've been really excited for fall this year when normally I get like a bit of seasonal depression. So I'm grateful for that. I have a hot matcha today, which is really fun and exciting. Last night I made a bunch of candles for my fall collection. I didn't film that because I was kind of in the zone. And whenever I film things, it takes extra long to get the task done because I need to move the camera around, need to talk and whatever. So I made these off camera, but I wanted to show you all a little sneak peek. Although by the time I post this, the collection will have dropped already. So check it out on my site if you want to. Also, if you don't know me, my name is Monica and I make content about owning a small business, working nine to five, productivity, lifestyle, all these fun things. Today is indeed a glasses, no makeup day. I'm fine with that. I already revealed to you guys which fall fragrances that I'm using because I did a little fall fragrance review video. So you can check that out if you want to. But I did make some of my first candles for the collection. I'm so excited. Cranberry and Prosecco and Autumn Praline is what I'm calling the first one. And I think this one's so unique as a fall fragrance because I've never really seen like a cranberry prosecco type fall candle. They're usually like pumpkin-y or like woodsy. So I thought this one would be fun and it smells so good. Just me like opening the lid, I get a whiff of it. Very on brand, especially with my Lime Singri and Guava Blossoms bestseller. This is gonna be a hit. I know it. And I put a good amount of orange in these labels just to make it clear that these are fall collection items. And I'm making two sizes in each of these fragrances. So that was the big Aura Jar, 12 ounces. And then I'm making a small size, 5 ounces in these tins. These are both from Makesy. I'll link them below. I use a similar label style for both of them. Um, this one obviously doesn't have all the details that the other one has, but still looks cute. And then I decided to add this to my fall collection, but I might keep it around for after fall as well. It's mahogany, teakwood, and oak, which is from Vine Vita. I was going to mix it with something and make it a little different, but it just smells so perfect the way it is. And it smells woodsy and I wanted like more woodsy, masculine, quote unquote, uh, scent in my fall collection. And I think the label just like pulls it back down to more on brand I guess because the scent itself is very sophisticated and I just wanted it to look more like Monica's collective. And then I have my homemade apple pie and clove candle which is the exact same as last year's but I think I just called it homemade apple pie last year. I didn't add the clove. I wanted to add this because it seems like I've been doing like a one thing and another thing on the label and I just wanted to follow the same pattern. Um, it smells amazing. And this one's like a much sweeter one. And then I have pumpkin chai and brown sugar. Ugh. This is my pumpkin chai from Candle Signs, I believe. That's the fragrance. And I love the way the label came out. I feel like this is one of the most fall ones that I have. Cozy flannel and cedar vanilla. I think this one's really cute too. I mean, they all, they all look really nice. And this one's also a more like, like woodsy, cotton, not sweet kind of candle. I like it. I think people will really enjoy it. And then there are two that I didn't put the labels on yet, so I'll just show you the labels printed out. <laughs> I printed this out with my Cricut, so I used some of them already, but I have pumpkin patch and orange nutmeg, which is made. I just have to finish off the top and put the label on. Um, and buttery caramel and spiced cider. These are both pretty different. I thought they were similar at first, but the more I smell them, like the more different I think they are. And the scents for both of these are from Makesy. I blended a couple other things into each of these to make them smell slightly different. Um, but the main like base fragrance is from Makesy. And I think these look pretty cute. Now on top of my fall collection that has, I think seven candles in it. I also started revamping my um, coffee collection, which I used to have last year. I sell it more in the fall and winter time because i think like coffee fragrances are more like comforting not as much in the spring and summer so the first one is cinnamon chai tea latte i used to just call this chai tea latte but i added the cinnamon in there because there is a good amount of cinnamon in this fragrance oil and i just wanted to be clear about what is in it um and i also updated the label obviously so cute the classic freshly brewed coffee this one's everyone's favorite it smells so strongly like a coffee shop and it's delicious. And this one is vanilla matcha latte. I didn't have a big one of this because I didn't have enough fragrance oil. I have to order more. 
Um, this one, I switched around the fragrances that I'm using. And I think it finally smells like matcha, but in a good way. Like it smells earthy, like how matcha powder smells. And then I added some sweet, I think it's like oatmeal and honey fragrance oil from Brambleberry to like mix in with the earthy scent to make it smell a little sweeter. And I think it, it's pretty accurate now. So that's that. And then once the holidays roll around, I'll also put out a peppermint mocha scent in the coffee collection. So that's what I have. And I'm excited about it. So let's finish up those last few candles that don't have labels. And then I'm going to get into some mugs, I believe. Glass cups, because I haven't worked on those in a while. Like to take a brief moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes to get you started on your creative and professional goals. I've used Skillshare so much in the past, even way before I started this business, and I dabbled into it again recently, back when I was starting on my creative endeavors, learning how to craft, learning how to do all these small business things. It was so helpful to learn from professionals in the field. All of Skillshare's classes are taught by professionals who know what they're talking about, and so I learned so much from them and recently I've been back into a learning kick and I just want to know so much more about so many different topics and I want to learn everything in a very efficient way Skillshare is the answer to that whether it be getting better at video editing or getting better at creating graphics for these YouTube videos or even more in my corporate life I have been really getting into UI and UX design and Skillshare has so many classes that have been helping me learn a lot more about these topics I've been taking Jordi Vandepew's class, I think that's how you say it, on video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro for beginners and it's been so helpful in teaching me the little tricks that I didn't even know about. It's gotten me a lot faster at editing and I could put out more content because of it. Also you guys know I rave about Ali Abdel's videos and all of his content and I finished the Productivity for Creators Systems and Organization Workflow course but I recently got started on the Notion Masterclass Maximize Your Productivity and Organization because I think Notion could be such a great way to organize both my small business life and my corporate and personal life. He gives a really good step-by-step -step introduction of Notion and how you can use it as just an average person who doesn't know what Notion is. And this course is actually part of the productivity and time management learning path, which I'm making my way through because I want to be a pro at productivity and time management because that's something I'm really passionate about and want to get better at. And because all these are self-paced and I kind of just pick up where I want to for each course, I am doing multiple courses at a time. And I also recently started Intro to UX Designing with a user-centered approach by Cynthia Moore. She's a UX UI designer or manager at Google and just knows what she's talking about and it's so great to learn from pros. Sometimes when I'm crafting or doing any sort of activity where it's kind of mindless, I want to put a podcast in. I've recently been putting Skillshare classes on, just listening to what the instructors have to say. My goal is always to be the best possible version of myself and to get better every single day and I feel like these Skillshare classes have helped me do that in a fun way by just learning a little bit every day and doing it at my own pace. So if you would like to check out Skillshare, you can use my link in the description. The first 1,000 people to click the link and sign up will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I will also link below my favorite courses just so you can take the same courses that I'm taking if you would like to. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and for also just helping me learn and be the best person I could possibly be. Now let's get back to crafting.
look at how freaking cute this new cup is. I mean, the saying isn't new. It's a good day to have a good day. That's like something I always have in my shop, whether it be a decal, a t-shirt, whatever. And I've had mugs that say it's a good day to have a good day, but a different design. This one's cute. I like the smiley faces and I like the font. I like how big it is. I'm going to make a few more of these. And also I'm going to make some ones that say matcha down um, like in a vertical line. Ones that say coffee. And then ones that are like daisy designs around it. I've had those before. These are two really cool vinyls that I got from Tech Wrapped and they're so cute. I love the, I can't remember the name of the design, but it's like shiny and gradient. Iridescent, that's the name of it. Oh, it looks so nice in the light. Look at how cute all my mugs look! Guys, I've never made such cute mugs before. I never really put so much effort in the designs and today I was just feeling inspired and then this is what I came up with. None of this is too, too creative because I've had a lot of stuff like this before, but I think by using these new vinyls, it really ended up looking so good. So this vinyl is from Tech Wrap, and I've had it for a little while now and it came out, it literally came out so good. It's a good day to have a good day, little smileys, so cute. And then for people who aren't into the colors, I have the plain one, which I think also looks really good and classic. This matcha one is crazy. I love it. Imagine it with the green matcha. I chose pink because I like pink and green together, so I think this will look good. Hard to see with all the other stuff behind it, but so cute. This vinyl is also from Tech Wrapped. And then the only other different one I have right now is this one with big flowers. I got kind of like sick of making these mugs after a while, so I'm going to stop for now. But I have another design that has smaller daisies that go all the way around, um, so I'm going to make a few of those later. All of them, and they look so cute! Also, I'm running into this issue. Please let me know if you've had this issue before and you know how to solve it, but I have this design, which is really hard to see, but it says coffee, similar to how this matcha one says matcha all the way down. This just says coffee. It's in white vinyl, white permanent vinyl from Cricut. That's the brand. And this transfer tape is from HTV Raunt and it won't stick to the transfer tape. I think the vinyl is so sticky that it stays stuck to the backing or the transfer tape isn't strong enough 
but I've been using the permanent vinyl from Tech Wrapped with this transfer paper and it's worked fine. It comes right off. But for some reason with the Cricut permanent vinyl, it's not sticking to my transfer tape. And I have like a thick roll of transfer tape and I want to use it before buying new ones. So help. Let me know if you have a solution to this, any of you who use Cricut Permanent Vinyl. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I have my printer going with some new candle labels because I realized I spelled cider wrong. If you guys caught that in the first clip of me explaining my candle fragrances for the fall collection, um, props to you, but I did not catch that and my friend Steph saw it on my Instagram because I posted all the different um, fragrances that I'm going to be releasing and she saw that and I was like, well, that's annoying. Good thing I only labeled four different candles so I can just rip those labels off and re-put them on. I only really did the candles where I want to do like product photography with um, so I didn't do too many which is great. Okay it's done. I need to cut it out with my Cricut real quick. I need to get outside, take these product photos. I'm low-key in a rush because I have a lot to do today um, but I'm excited. up with my product photography and the pictures came out so good let me show you some of them i edit all of my photos on lightroom and everything just looks so good um this is what i literally just posted on instagram just now because i was so excited and i wanted to show people <laughs> i only got a few pictures of all of the candles all together i mainly wanted to focus on the solo product shots so like this i think this one came out really good like that just looks so professional I need to edit all of these and then get them up on TikTok shop because I need to release them tomorrow because that's when I told people I would be releasing these. <laughs> also, my room's a little crazy right now because I need to clear out the window space for uh, my fiance to fix the little AC unit situation. So I had to clear out that space and now I'm in desperate need of a crafting room makeover and cleanup. It's just, it's too much.
morning guys it's the next day and my candles are now available to shop on tiktok shop it's relatively easy to add products to tiktok shop you have to get this seller center app it's like the one down there in the corner and this is where you add all of your products my live ones are listed under the live tab and i just have a bunch of candles and also a pouch at the bottom because i wanted to try adding a pouch haven't had any orders yet i just posted about it on instagram i didn't post another tiktok about it i should probably do that but i don't really have too much content with those candles so i think i need to come up with something really quick <laughs> i did work on a bunch of scrunchies yesterday i have a whole bunch done in here well not done done i put the elastic to them now i just have to put the little monica's tag on the end and close up the last opening other than those i just have these navy floral ones to finish up from the fall collection scrunchies and then i think that's it with the fall collection i want to make a whole lot more of each of the things like the candles i only have those scrunchies to finish up i did make a good amount of mugs let me actually show you some of those these are my favorite ones this one is holographic with the it's a good day to have a good day sign which i think i already talked about and then this one just says matcha and i tried it out yesterday and i love it so these aren't necessarily part of the fall collection but i'm going to have them at my next pop-up which is next weekend and i'm excited it's actually labor day weekend so i'm going to get started on doing some general pop-up shop prep i'm going to start a new video doing that pop-up shop prep so thank you for watching this one i will see you in the next one bye mm -hmm.